Okay, today guys, we're going to be reviewing the GF529 Crossman Sniper Rifle. This gun shoots about 425 feet per second with .12 BBs. Uh, I do not recommend .12 BBs because they are very inaccurate and they will actually damage your gun in later um, use. So, with that note, I don't really get why they um, test these beautiful guns with uh, cheap BBs. With see, I use point thirties, and this holds about twenty nine rounds in this magazine, so it's a pretty good um, amount of ammunition you can hold in one clip. But with point thirties, I'm getting about maybe three hundred feet per second. So that's definitely drastically taking the amount of feet per second it travels down a lot. And this gun has an adjustable hop up. Um, I'm having on normal because it's way more accurate with normal hop up makes it go all over the place um, the safety is right here right now see the S is safety flip it up here to shoot it's a bolt action rifle so you just pull it back and once you're click then you slide it in place you put it right back down and you're ready to shoot now this gun comes with a sling and the sling mounts had broken off because they're just very cheap. They're plastic. I mean, this is the only thing that's metal on this gun is the actual barrel itself. Um, the bipod and scope are separate and they're sold separately. Comes with a Picatinny rail on top of the gun and the bottom. I got these uh, accessories from evic.com. I also got my BBs from evic.com. But it also comes with a speed loader and a sling. The sling actually lasts a while, but the bad part is these sling mounts, they're just wobbly, make a lot of noise. I don't really see a purpose for them. They're just gonna break off. Okay, now I will show you the shooting test. Okay guys, today I have 29 rounds loaded in the magazine. I don't know if you wanna watch me shoot all 29 rounds, but I will do it anyway. Uh, the scope. It's very nice quality. It's about $30 scope, but it's regularly 60 I got it on a uh, sale. And really comes in handy because it's adjustable red and green dot sight. It's fully adjustable, so you can like sight it in and everything like that. There's five different settings for red and green. You just twist this little knob. I'm going to go with uh, red here, or green actually. Okay, so we just put the mag right here. Pops in. This is the mag release button. All you have to do is press this button and that pops out. Okay, it's time to shoot. I'm going to be shooting at that tree. Pretty accurate. Let's move over to this red cup over here. That's a shooting test. I did not go through all 29 of the BBs because that would be very boring. Let's go back inside and I'll tell you more about it. After the shooting test, I found that once you eject the magazine using this clip release button, it always seems to be one BB that seems to fall out. And you have to reload that and put that back in your gun. It's totally fine, it just didn't chain very correctly. Now, this gun, it's I got it at Meyer for around $80 not including the BBs or any of that cost. It's a very good gun. I mean, it's, um, according to my sources, it's fully upgradable with all VSR-10 parts. And on eBay, they sell it for around $35 to $45. I mean, the upgrade kits get you about 550 feet per second with .20 BBs, and I'm using .30. So this thing's gonna about, this thing's gonna shoot like about 500 feet per second. If you wanna really sting someone, make, them, make sure, that they know they got hit, this is the gun for you. And evic.com, this is this scope and this bipod cost me around 
$60. I mean, go check them out. They have great selection of airsoft stuff. And the stock, it's not adjustable. That's a bad thing. And it's really hard, so it's not very comfortable to hold. And um, I have not um, put any oil or anything like this on there. And um, you probably want to put some oil on there just so it just doesn't like get all old. Or uh, you gotta lubricate it. And a nice little orange tip here, not so big that like when you're sticking around corners, like everyone's gonna be like, oh, there he is, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, if you want to take a look down the scope here, this is a, uh, see there's five different settings. This is the first red, there's second, or there's the fourth, third, second, first, and then this should be green right here. As you can tell, it gets very, uh, it gets lighter and darker uh, depending on your how bright your battlefield is. And it's all over just a really good gun. I mean, I would up, I would definitely consider upgrading this gun so then you could really be precise with it. And as you saw in the shooting test, it's very good, it's very accurate once you sight the scope in. But you don't need necessarily a scope, you just need the right ammunition, and then you can sort of figure it out by yourself on where you're aiming and how you need to shoot. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Big shout out to Andrew Lehman Productions. Go check out his YouTube channel. He does a bunch of airsoft videos, and he's always been helping me out with the camera. And until next time, stay cool and airsoft on.